Hello South Wirral, we're really looking forward to seeing you all back in school in September. So I've made a short video to help you get a sense of what school is going to be like and also the things that you need to know before you start. Now I should say to parents that I've kept this video as simple as possible so I haven't included all the detail of how school has changed. For that you can look at this, the risk assessment that's on our school website. This video will include the following things. Travel to school, the start to the school day, the one-way system, lessons, break and lunch time, the end to the school day and uniform, equipment and parent pay. When you return to school, one thing that we do guarantee is that you will come back to a warm welcome, a full curriculum with all your normal lessons and a normal school experience except for a few small adjustments that you'll soon get used to. The tweaks that we've made to school are as follows. There are five. Firstly, you'll have a staggered start and end to the day and this is aimed to reduce crowding at these busy times. Number two, Year groups will be kept as separate as possible at lunchtime. Number three, we'll have a supervised one-way system for moving around the school. Number four, we will not share any equipment or resources. And number five, and this is the most important thing of all, we will wash our hands on entry regularly throughout the day and use only our personal equipment and resources at all times. Buses. Buses will arrive between 8.20 and 8.30 to the normal place. If you're in year 7 or 8 you need to go straight to registration when your bus arrives. Other students should not enter school except to go to the canteen. Year 7 and 8 can use the canteen at break time. Year 9 and 10 students can use the canteen from 8.30 to 8.45. Year 11 and 6 form students can use the canteen from 8.45 to 9am. Those year groups can't use the canteen at break time. So this is your time to buy food and drink and it makes sure everyone has the chance to get some food and drink during the day. For travel to school, I recommend that you only use trains and buses if you absolutely have to. The safest way to travel to school is to walk. Everyone can have access to the bike sheds at the start and end of the day if you'd like to cycle to school. If you want to have some more bike safety training, we will arrange that for you. The bus and train companies are responsible for safety during the journey so it's important that you follow the rules on trains and buses. Everyone can get access to the bike sheds at the start of day and at the end of the day and we won't hold the bikes at the end of day so you can leave when you need to. I recommend that everyone uses a bike or walks if they can because it'll make you fitter and it'll make you happier too. Every year group has been given an entrance point and they are colour coded. The green groups enter via the student entrance and the blue groups enter via the J block entrance. At 8.30, year 7 enter through the student entrance, that's green, and year 8 enter through the J block entrance, that's blue. At 8.45, year 10 enter through the student entrance, that's green, and year 9 enter through the J block entrance, that's blue. And at, eight, at 9 o'clock, year 11 enter through the student entrance green and 6 form enter through the J block entrance blue. Remember your colour because that will help you to know where to go at lunchtime too. This is the student entrance which is for year 7, 10 and 11 only. You can see from the green sign. This is the J block entrance as you can see from the blue sign and it's for year 8 and 9 and the 6 form. And you just walk down the usual route into school through here. This is the J block entrance. Now you've got two entrance points you can use. You can come in through the E block door or you can come in through the J block door. The most important thing of all is at the point of entry you've got to sanitise your hands. So this is the infra infrared sanitizer. You put your hand underneath and then you rub the sanitizer liquid through your hands before you enter school. You can also enter through the J block. Here's the hand sanitizer, and then you can enter. When you enter through the student entrance, you must sanitize your hands, and then you must walk left because that's the way the one way system takes you. I'm going to walk you around our one way system now. Coming in through the student entrance, you must turn left. When you use design technology, when you come out of here, you must turn left. 
This is the P block corridor. When you come out of a humanities room, you'll usually end exit from the external door, but if you need to leave this way, you must turn left here. Hello miss! Lessons and follow the one-way system. There'll be members of staff on duty at key points to make sure that you know which way to go. Hello, follow the one-way system please. Thanks sir. So heading into science now. And when you leave the science block, you must leave either via an external door or through to PE. Here we are in PE then, so when you leave PE, you must leave it through this door here. Like on the wrong way. <laughs> and when you leave, you walk round to the J block. I'll always be a member of staff at the science block corridor to tell you where to go. Oh look, it's Mr. Harrison. Hello everyone, this way please. Thank you, sir. Now at this point, you've got a choice. You can leave uh, through to the main quad, or you can leave this way. There'll always be a member of staff here to make sure you know what you're doing. This way or this way. Thank you, sir. When you're in the J block, your direction of travel's always got to be this way. and there'll always be a member of staff on duty at this point to help you know which way to go. Good morning, how are you? Thanks, sir. E block is a little bit more complicated. You're not allowed to go in through that door. So to get into E block, you've got to walk around and enter this way. Put your dance lessons down there. History's up there as normal, and then you can exit through that door. So I'm just coming out onto our quad here, and this is the direction we walk. There'll always be a member of staff on duty here. Uh, this way, please. Thank you, sir. You might also come out that way. So as we walk up in this direction, you enter school by the main office. And if you're going up into the T block, you go up those stairs. And if you're going anywhere else, you go down that corridor. All over school, you'll see these signs reminding you to stay two metres apart where possible. You must stay two metres apart from adults. And you'll also see the green one-way signs all over the school telling you where to go. So while we're in T block, we're always heading in this direction. Leave T block, you come down the stairs, and there'll always be a member of staff on duty at the boys' toilets here to tell you where to go. Just this way, please. Thanks, sir. Can't I go that way? No. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So you can see, we've done a circuit of the whole school. And there will always be members of staff on duty at lesson change over time to make sure that school is calm and ordered. And that keeps everyone safe. Let's have a look at what lessons will be like. So when you arrive at a lesson, the teacher will greet you at the door and you must enter straight away, sit down and get on with the tasks that you've been given. You can't queue up in the corridors because it's important to keep the corridors empty and calm. In all the classrooms, the seats will be facing the front. And it's important that you keep two metres distance from yourself and your teacher. Every room is kitted out with a lidded bin, which can operate with a foot. And every room has sanitizer for you to use. And also it has some other PPE equipment to use if anybody is uh, feeling poorly at any time. You'll have your own exercise book and your own resources. And it's really important that you don't share any equipment or resources with other students. Lessons will very, very soon feel normal and we will support you with a new routine. At the end of the lesson, everyone will stand 
and the teacher will dismiss you from the door and remind you which way to go in the new one-way system. So let's think about break time for a moment. Only year seven and eight can use the canteen and the hall and you'll be in your separate year group bubbles for that. If you don't want to use the canteen or hall, that's fine. Year nine and 10 and 11, we'd like you to stay in your period two classrooms for a few minutes, eat your food and have your drink before you go on to your next lesson or go to get some fresh air or go to the toilet. And sixth form, of course, you can use the sixth form common room. And that will mean that school will be quiet, the corridors won't be too busy and year groups will be kept separate as much as possible. This is the girls' toilet, as you can see. We've got lots of soap dispensers. We'll also have sanitizer on the top. Several paper towel dispensers. And the toilets are checked several times a day to make sure that everything's as it should be. These are the boys' toilets, as you can see. We've got lots of soap dispensers. We've also got sanitizer. Really important that everybody washes their hands after they've used the toilet. At lunchtime, you'll need to remember what colour your year group is because the canteen and hall are split into a blue and green zone. So you keep the same colour through the whole day. Everyone should go outside at lunchtime unless you have a club or an activity room to go to. The library will be open every lunchtime for a different year group. J5 will be open for a different year group and also the drama studio will be open at times as well. So there will always be an indoor space and you might want to use those spaces to eat your packed lunch if you'd prefer to do that rather than go to the canteen or hall. If you're a blue year group this is your entry point and the queue might start here on a busy day. As you can see, the canteen and hall are divided into two completely separate bubbles. So you will queue here and the chairs space you out to keep you safe. You'll enter the canteen this door. You get your food at the counter here. Go to the till here and then you've got a place to sit in the hall and you exit the way you came. If you're a green group, that's your 7, 10 or 6 form, then this is your entry door. Again, you can see how the room's divided up. This is where we queue, spaced out. And I'll be a member of staff here to guide you in to the food. You come in through this entry, there's your counter, and till, and then you can sit in the canteen and enjoy your lunch. I'm on the school field now, and as you can see, it's been divided into two. There's a blue zone for year eight, nine, and 11 at your respective lunch times. You've got the all weather pitch, you've got this area here, and there'll be a an extra football net over there. You can also go around to the Peabot car park. On the other side of the field, we've got the green zone, which is for year seven, year 10 in the sixth form. Again, you've got some football nets out here. You've also got the tennis court area and you've got the little yard over there. So everyone's got plenty of space. There are all weather surfaces and grass surfaces for you to play sport and, uh, and entertain yourselves at lunchtime. Most important is that you need to keep in these two separate zones. Now let's talk about the end of school. School ends for year 7 and 8 at 2.45. You should follow the one-way system and then leave. Year 9 and 10 must also follow the one-way system and leave at 3 o'clock. Year 11 and 6 form finish at 3.15. The buses will wait uh, for year 11 and 6 form before the buses leave and the bike sheds will be open from 2.45 and you can leave with your bike immediately. The bikes will not be held till 3.15. Uniform is as normal when we return and that includes sports kit as well. We won't be wearing masks in school. This is advice from Public Health England because we don't need to wear masks when we're mixing with the same people every day. If you need to get a new tie or badge, please contact school. 
that the office will be open on the days immediately before we return. All the new school uniform rules will apply and for PE lessons we've created an extra set of changing rooms so that the changing rooms can be cleaned after every lesson. You must bring your own equipment to school. You mustn't share equipment with other students. You should bring a bag with a pencil case containing a pen, pencil, ruler and a calculator. It would be sensible also to have a rubber and a pencil sharpener. Once school starts you can buy replacement equipment from student services at this hatch. The next section is mainly for parents. It refers to parent pay. We would prefer students not to use the top-up machines that we have in the canteen for cashless payments. These machines will still be available to use but we should try to avoid them. Instead we now have a parent pay system. So this is now our preferred method of payment for any future trips, uh, payments for any activities like food technology payments or art sketchbooks and for topping up canteen accounts. We therefore strongly encourage parents to register to use online payments for topping up canteen cards. You can view a full breakdown of what items are purchased in the canteen. Uh, if parents are already registered for online payments, you do not need to do anything further. When you log in, you will notice there is now a canteen account that you can add credit to. If you've not used online payments before, you will be receiving a letter through the post over the next week. Please register for your account as soon as possible to ensure that you can use it for the start of term. This is not only a much more efficient way of managing the money for parents, students and for the school, but it is also much safer than having shared dispenser machines. So Year 7 will start school on Wednesday, September the 2nd and only Year 7 will be in school on that day. On Thursday, September the 3rd, Year 7 will be joined by Year 9 and 11. And then on Friday, September the 4th, we'll welcome Year 8 and Year 10 and Year 12 only. On that day, Year 7, 9 and 11 will stay at home. This will give everyone a gentle, quiet introduction to school and will make sure that you understand the new systems so that when we all start back on Monday, September the 7th, we know what we're doing. So there we have it. I hope that gives you a sense of how school will be similar but slightly different in September. If you have any questions, you're welcome to send them in through email and we'll try to respond to those. I look forward to seeing you in the first week of September.